Hey guys, we've got a wobbly stand today, but hopefully it'll <laughs> stay good for us while I am telling you about today's look. So um, I went and did a full makeup today and I kind of mixed my colors to get exactly what I wanted for the day. Um, as you all know from watching other videos, I have hereditary dark circles, which are pretty dark. And so I took some of the ivory and just kind of went around the eye area first. There's other color correcting videos if you want to take a look at those. I mixed the medium color correcting tinted moisturizer for more moisture and I put a little bit of the almond, not almond, ivory in with that too and just kind of mixed it. Um, so I did a little mixture of everything. I actually put it on to this. So it's just a plastic container and I put the color on top of there and then I mixed it with a brush like this. Dirty brush now, but um, it's a synthetic and it mixes it and buffs it in. So that gives you a more finished look. Now the funny thing about that is my guy does not like a makeup look. So when I went down and asked him, I'm like, what do you think of this look? He's like, you've got that cream on. I'm like, yes, I have foundation on. Yeah, it doesn't look natural. I'm like, well, it looks more even, more flawless. That was, you know, kind of what makeup's for. And he's like, no, no, it looks unreal. It looks like a kabuki. <laughs> so you guys can weigh in as to whether or not you like that more finished, polished look of a foundation, or if you like the lighter color correcting tinted moisturizer look that I normally go for. But I thought, you know, let's do something different. So, you know, the hair hasn't been cut since February, did a little curl in that. Um, got on our earrings that Plaza Studio sells, the Lotus Flower. Aren't those pretty? Really nice and lightweight. Um, they're actually a silver-plated brass. So, kind of cool. You get the silver, get the color, you get the lightweight. Um, great earring design. So, what I did for the color, um, something different. I love the Silver Rose Powder. So here's the Silver Rose Powder. This happens to be my personal one, so it's a little bit worse for wear. But um, it comes with the brush, and I just did it as a highlight in here. So you get the shimmering of the shimmer, uh, shimmer, <laughs> Silver Rose. God, you know, you guys must know from watching these videos, the brain does not go to the mouth to verbalize out what I'm thinking. Anyways, Silver Rose Powder makes a great blush, great highlighter, gives a pinky rose tone, and then a shimmer. So the shimmer is really pretty, and I don't know if you can see it on the lighting here or not. Hopefully you can. So that's what's on the cheeks. I lined the eyes with the black pencil. So that is lined on the rim and above inside rim. And then I went back in with the Onyx Shadow Sense because that all of these can be used on the inner rim of the eye. I also did the onyx as the liquid liner look on the eyes too. So there you go with that. Now, for colors on the eyes, I actually have four different colors on. So four different colors. Here we are, we've got sandstone pearl, shell, mocha java in the matte, it also comes in a shimmer, and garnet. So these are the colors I have on the eyes today. They are beautiful, basic colors. Um, they are all permanent except for the shell. Shell's been around for a little while and it is such a great basic. I love this color. But uh, sandstone, pearl, shimmer, shell, gl uh, glitter, mocha java in the matte, and the garnet, which is also matte. So that is what is on the eyes. All right, so you can see the eyes. I have the sandstone, pearl, Mostly on the inner right here. You can also do it really pretty on the inner corners. The shell I have on the ball of the eye and a little bit in the crease, but mostly on the ball. Then I went back with the mocha java in the crease. So you can see the mocha java is right in here and blend it upwards. Um, as you notice with my eyes, trying to look straight at where you can see, so I'm straight on, um, 
I have more of a hooded eye area and I have a higher lid area that I can really work with. So I really want to create that contour in here to push it back. And I really want to create the light on the lid to push it forward. Because if you see any of my videos with no makeup on, you're going to see that the lid just gets completely lost on me. So the light pushes forward, put back dark pushes back. Um, so I go for a little bit darker in the crease to create that contrasting and that shadow play of light and forward. The medium tones are great for highlighting and contouring to create that shadowing here. But I do need the depth in the crease to create that more of a pop and contrasting in colors. And also the color play um, makes a huge difference with what colors you choose. So Garnet is a reddish brown, um, a little bit of a purpley, but more of a reddish brown, and it is going to play with the coloring of my eyes. So if you notice that my eyes are probably showing up a little bit greener with the colors that I chose, I have pretty brown eyes, um, but depending on what colors you choose, it may counteract with the coloring around it with your eyes and make your eyes stand out more. Now be careful with some of the, the red browns or red colors, they can make the eyes look more tired too. Blues will make the white of the eyes look whiter, which makes you look more alive and awake too. So those are little things to think about and things we talk about more in the Plaza Studio Health and Beauty group, um, as well as in some of the other videos. But color play is important when you're talking about makeup as well. So lights and darks push forward and back, Colors are going to play with what's going to be brought out in your eyes, in your skin tone, and on the lips. So when I'm a little smokier on the eyes, and when I go a little smokier on the eyes, I tend to go a little bit lighter on the lips. So you do you, whatever that is, be your own kind of beautiful, that is our philosophy, but I typically try to balance things out a little bit. If I go for a smokier eye, I go on a softer lip. If I go with a bolder lip, I tend to go with a classic eye or a softer eye. So those are just some things to think about. This is the pink champagne. <gasps> Isn't pink champagne just so pretty? It's typically a little bit lighter than what I tend to go with personally. Um, but people compliment me when I'm wearing the lighter pink champagne by itself. Now, I do prefer a more defined lip. And the beautiful thing about lip scents is you don't necessarily need a lip liner. But I will tell you that you can use your lip scent or lip scents as a liner. So sometimes I'll go in with a little bit of a deeper color around the lip line and mix it or a lighter color on the ball of the lip to give you more of a pout. So those are little tips and tricks of things you can do with colors to create a fuller lip or to give more definition to a lip. And the beautiful thing is you can wear those dark, bold colors without it bleeding because as you know, lip scent stays put. It does not transfer. It does not come off. It has serious wow factor, right? Serious wow factor. My poor guy was so tired of hearing about, oh, my lipstick is still on and I had like corn on the cob and I had nachos and I had pizza and my lipstick is still on. And so I will of course have to kiss him and be like, look, there's no lipstick on you. So he liked that concept, but he didn't like me talking about it all the time, but it is a wow factor. So that's kind of what's going on. Oh, pearlizer. Okay. So Y'all know, if you've seen any of my videos, I love, 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 love the eye illuminator. This would be one of those, if I wasn't on a desert island, the eye illuminator would have to be with me because it is fantastic eye treatment for the eye area. Um, I have the hereditary dark circles. The pearlizer helps to brighten that up. I'm getting to be a little bit older on in my life. And... Um, so you get more crepiness to the eye area, um, a little more tired look to the eye area. So this helps you to look more awake. So anyways, lots of little tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're looking for me, this is how you find me. I hope you will join us on the Plaza Studio Health and Beauty Group on Facebook. Check out the website. You can find all the information there. Join us on social media. And you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.